Okay, this is our X-ray diffraction unit. This is a Bruker, B-R-U-K-E-R. -E and the model is a D8 Advance. Um, so currently what we've got running is a piece of uh, pure aluminum. And inside this unit, we've got the sample holder. And there you can see the aluminum in the center of the block. We've got the x-ray tube, which uh, has a copper target, so you may be able to see copper somewhere on there, right in the top left. Okay. The x-rays are being generated by the high voltage line, which is in the middle. We've got entry and exit uh, water lines, which are marked yellow and red. Okay. After the x-rays uh, exit the tube, they pass through a slit, which is right there sticking out with the number on it. They hit the sample and go through two more slits and then pass through a monochromator, which uh, filters out beta x-rays and then passes through the last slit at the top there and there's the detector. The scan is just finished. Um, so let's take a look at the data. This is a software called XRD Commander. And in this software we have our theta two theta positions uh, live on the left. We have the running operating uh, voltage and milliamps at 4040 and we have our scan parameters we've run this scan from starting 2 theta equals 20 ending 2 theta equals 100 the step size or the increment is 0 0.05 degrees and the time or dwell at each uh, degree is one second and you can see this data basically we've got uh, aluminum is FCC and we've got uh, 2 theta peak positions uh, different different positions and different intensities for the as received. So can open up these doors. And I'm gonna move the drives so you can see them move back into position. We can remove the sample by putting our hand up under here, pulling that forward, and the sample drops down. We can take this out. So the sample is actually positioned here by squishing the clay a little bit taller than the ridge. We put the sample on the middle here, and we squish it down with another piece of metal.